right, we are at, oh, let me see your hand. All right, guys, we're gonna show you the before. We're at our barber's in the ranch. <laughs> he needs a haircut bad, huh, buddy? Let me see. Okay, then we'll see the after. All right, Christiana's haircut is all done. He looks so handsome, but we decided to take our evening walk and we made it to the top of the mountain today, you guys, Annabelle. So we come out here all the time, but I can never climb to the okay, top because I always, he's very far. I always have Penelope with me and she's too little because once you start to get to the top, it is extremely it's steep. steep. Like if you were on a slide, you would like, oh, he fell. You would yeah. like, you would like, crash down. There's the top and we're just coming down you guys. Whew. And Cristiano, I don't know if you can see that little backpack. He is like way ahead of us. But me and Annabelle made it to the top first, didn't we Annabelle? Yeah. So it's, it's it is. Oh look at my here. It's like gonna be like I wish it was, it was all sand so I could slide down. Right. That'd be nice. So, next Saturday is the Reina's finals. That's where they pick who is the Reina and they do the crowning. And right now, you guys, I hope it's Abby too. Right now, we're working on Abigail's speech. And then tomorrow, I am taking you guys with me. It's so exciting to meet all of the Reinas. They found out I had a YouTube channel. Um, somebody who's doing the event told them, hey, did you guys know Aaron has a YouTube channel? Um, Abby's in it for the Reina stuff. And so they all want to be in it. So I'm going to let you guys meet all the Reinas. Um, they're just going to tell you their names and you can see them at the photo shoot. And you can kind of get to know all of them a little bit better. So that will make it a little bit more exciting for you guys. Are you going to go to the photo shoot with me? Okay. And if you guys have any ideas for Abby's speech, let me know. Um, we kind of have some of it written, but the, the, the question for it is why did you want to be a part of the arenas? Not why did you want to be a arena or win it, but why did you want to be a part of it? Um, so, so far I feel like the speech is really good, but if you guys have any ideas, let us know because this is our first time doing a pageant. Oy, we're almost to the bottom. The pond truck went by and Annabelle screamed. What did you say? I said, I say it how you did though. Grite. No, but grite. She yelled so loud from the top of the mountain and I bet they heard her. Oh, and they're selling elotes. I can hear them from up here and there's, I'm, I hope we get down there in time. There's a guy in the ranch and he takes a wheelbarrow. Yeah. <laughs> he pushes the wheelbarrow around and he has elote in it and it, it's mayonesa, mm, queso y chiles. Oh, it's so good, you guys. I like, I like queso, mayonesa, and uh, chiles. Yeah. Oh, almost to the bottom. They do? But who does that? Explorers, why do they do that? <laughs> Come on, that's why you guys are getting sick all the time. <laughs> You're gonna do, oh no, you got, oh my gosh. Annabelle, it's the red ant. Can you guys see those huge red ants? No, I gotta get out of here before they get. These red ants These are like vicious and they almost, some of them get so big, they look like a mix between spiders and ants. Oh, Boo has all of our water and I'm so thirsty. Every year, you guys, the town comes and um, paints all the way up to the top of that mountain. And it is not 
easy. They also, I, you can't see them right now, but they put light, uh, solar lights all along the way. So at night it lights up. It is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And you know, it's not like the city pays somebody to come up here and do this. No, the community comes together and paints this whole entire mountain. It's absolutely amazing. Cristiano, we're gonna miss the elotes. No, yeah, just for a minute, hold on though. All right, you guys, Cristiano got a fresh new fade. He looks so nice. And I don't know if you guys can see, turn your head this way. Cristiano has red in his hair. It's it's like black like his dad, but then he got streaks like right here, streaks of red like me. It's so cute. <laughs> this is one of their favorite things. Cristiano. Back further, 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 further. Okay, go. So beautiful. All done on the water well and you know what we're gonna do next head down to the plaza get some good snacks I'm probably just gonna get a Pedialyte oh my gosh they're so crazy I say Pedialyte but it's electrolyte and I don't know why I cannot remember that I go into the tiendas all the time and I'm like um una Pedialyte and they're always like, are you a crazy person? And I'm like, electrolyte. <laughs> All right, let's go. Can you guys balance down? Ooh, this is hard. I was an ice skater when I was younger. And if you know anybody think about ice skating, I made it all the way to free skate one, which is kind of good. So I can keep my balance. Adios, Peloma. The sun is going down, and in Mexico, that means everybody is coming out of their house for the same things we are to go for. Yeah. To oh, I want to ask if I can see their pony. All right, guys, they're doing announcements, and that means either like something's going on or they're selling food. So whenever they're doing announcements, you have to listen real well because the other day they did the announcement for the electricity and I didn't hear it. And if you don't pay your electricity, um, no, they don't turn it off. They come and cut your power line to your house. And a guy came and was like, I'm, I'm never miss electricity thing, but I, I didn't hear it. And nobody came and told me. And um, he's like, I have to cut your line. And I like begged him not to. I was like, I don't speak Spanish good. I'll go to Cotlán right now and pay it. So normally I can pay it in the ranch. Um, but because I missed the announcement, um, I didn't know it was late. I didn't even know it was due yet. And they said they were gonna cut, they cut your whole entire power line. And once they do that, they said that um, you have to go pay it and then you have to go to a town that's like three hours away and get your power line fixed. It's so crazy. Pond truck, they sell pan right out of here. Hey, show me what you got. <gasps> a chocolate covered banana. Alright guys, we made it to the plaza, but we missed the elote wheelbarrow. He pushed around a wheelbarrow. But all the kids are running around playing tag right now, or, or they play this game called Cuatro Veces. 
How do you say it? How do you say it? Cuatro veces. But PB got a banana. Mm. All right, you guys, we are back home. Everybody is in their pajamas and ready for bed. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog going on the cross with us. All right, you guys, if you have not already, please like and subscribe, and I love hearing from all of you. Have a really good night.